Good morning and Ni Hao from Jinan, a small northern city a couple of hours from Beijing. With a mere population of just 9 million people, I thought we'd walk about, see what the city has to offer. Let's get into it. Right, our first stop, the city's main attraction, the Bar 2 Spring. Crystal clear water, a bit of a shrine at the end there, stone with some Chinese characters on it, and some big carp floating about. Mate, it's about 40 degrees today. I just want to jump in there. Packed with tourists too. I thought this would be a low key weekend. Apparently not. <laughs> Alright, next stop, the famous Da Ming Lake, found in the heart of the old town. It has over 800 willow trees, scattered with ancient and old historical buildings. Most notably, the Li Xiang Ting Pagoda, better known as the Tower of Men with Letters. Don't really know, apparently it's produced a few famous poets. Gorgeous walk. The locals are showing up in force. Nan Jing. Nan translates to south and Ji is a river 20 minutes north of the city south of the river G was established in the 8th 8th century BC and is also known as the city of springs with almost 800 springs within a five kilometer radius historically not a lot has happened here Marco Polo visited in the 13th century a few dynasties have ruled in his time but the town is more known for its warm, friendly people. And I'm beginning to see why. As we have just walked on to the Chu Shu Ting Street, which is famous for its cafes, shops, art, restaurants, and little canals. Let's get something to eat. What an interesting street. Got all kinds of shops here. Got a magic store, old school photography, a ton of tea shops. I wanted to sit down and get a drink. But they're all charging by the pot, so around 200 RMB. Man, I'm not doing that for a cup of tea. Little coffee store. And a lot of women getting dressed up, getting their photos taken. Hello. Hello, Ni Hao. How are you? Take photo. You want photo? All right, very quick. Ah. Let's go. Oh, wow, so are you... you are a vlogger in YouTube? Or... I am. I am. Wow. Yeah. Wow, it's my pleasure. Really? What's your name? Uh, my name, uh, English name or Chinese name? Yeah, let's go English. Uh, Charlotte. Charlotte. And what are you girls doing today? Take photo. Oh, okay. Taking Take photos? Photo. Traditional Chinese yes. clothes? Uh, yes, this is Qing accent uh, clothes. Qing absent. Accent, yeah. Accent. And you? Oh, maybe it's from Western countries. Yeah. Okay. We are, we are a couple. A couple. <laughs> Ladies, you are looking great. Thank Enjoy you. your day. Get Have your photos. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. See you. Goodbye. Man, locals so friendly. Hello, Niha. Hong Jialao Cathedral, 
one of the most important buildings in Jinan. One of the most important Catholic churches in China. Top three apparently. It was designed by an Australian architect in the early 20th century. It was named after a building complex and was partially destroyed during the 1940s when the Japanese occupied the city. Let's go check it out. It's wild to think that we're in China. If you didn't know any better, we could be in the heart of Europe. Beautiful stained glass windows, an altar with the statue of Jesus at the end there, large pillars, and on the walls you have murals and pictures of all the saints. Gorgeous. Large turnout too. Christianity booming in the main room. Hello. Hello. Ni hao. So I'm not actually associated with any religion, but I did read the Bible recently. And it's hard case because similar to the Buddhist temples, you have the life and times of Jesus. But I'm quite proud of myself because now I can identify each story. So you've got Jesus being born, three wise men and Mary. You've got John the Baptist. Okay, I don't know that story. You've got Jesus healing the sick. Good times. Really enjoying my time here in Jinan. But once you get away from the tourist areas, you begin to get a feeling or a sense that the city could use, I don't know, what would you say? I guess a facelift. A lot of the residential buildings, like here, very old. Many of them still have bars on the windows. Not sure why. And a lot of the buildings just look tired. A run down. It's all good. It's just the first time I've experienced this in China. Most of the cities, very up to date, modern. Cool. And our last stop for the day, Thousand Buddha Mountain, where in the 6th century a group of Buddhist monks arrived here and chiseled out thousands of Buddhist statues. Similar to that one there, there, well, everywhere. Well worth a visit. Let's check it out. Nihao. Hello, hello. Welcome to Sinai. Ah, thank you, thank you. Beautiful here. And at the foot of the mountain, not really, halfway up the mountain, after about 400 steps, you find Shun Telling Temple, which legend has it is named after King Yu Shun, who apparently tilled some soil here. So they erected this temple in his honor, I suppose. Let's check it out. Oh mate, the Chinese know how to do it right. It is gorgeous. It's 
about four o'clock in the afternoon and the monks are praying. Got a lot of locals coming up here burning incense too, lighting a few candles. I'd like to have a spiritual moment myself, but I'm currently dealing with sunblock in the eyes, <laughs> which is making it a bit difficult to connect with the higher source. <sighs> Mate. And here we are, top of the mountain. After slogging it out, probably a thousand steps, I find there's a car park just, just at the bottom of the top. Anyway, we're here. It's been a fantastic day. Saw a lot. Jian. Great city. Loved it. What's up, bro? Great city. I'm gonna wrap it up there. Till next time, guys. Zai Jian. Peace. Could you say like and subscribe for me? Like and subscribe. Okay. Like and subscribe. <laughs> subscribe from me. Good. Perfect. Thank you, boss. Sure, sure.